First of all, um, David, um, tell me what the IIHS is. So the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is a nonprofit organization that conducts research to try to identify solutions that are caused by crashes on the nation's roads. So we're trying to look at ways to prevent crashes, and given that we will never be able to prevent all crashes, uh, make sure that the crashes that do occur don't result in serious injuries or fatalities. Do you have any dog in the fight? Are you anti the trucking industry or anti the auto industry or trying to saddle them with unreasonable regulations? No, we, we don't have any reason to saddle anybody with unreasonable regulations, but we do think it's unnecessary for people to suffer uh, serious injuries or deaths as a result of a car crash. Um, and you know we think that there are th things that can be done, reasonable things that can be done uh, to prevent those consequences. So what is this? Where are we? So we're in what we call the display hall of our vehicle research center, which is located in central Virginia. The display hall is set up to um, have displays of our research so that visitors can understand how our crash tests have evolved. And as we walk down this way, we're looking at some of the vehicles that we have most recently crash test. Many of the results of these tests have not yet been published, but we hang on to the cars uh, until we've sure we've gathered all the information we need. And what sort of crash tests are you performing here? Yeah, so you see two different kinds of front tests, uh, the narrow offset and the moderate overlap. We're currently doing a series of uh, front tests involving the passenger side. Normally we test the driver's side. You also see some side crushed vehicles and some roof uh, cr crashed vehicles uh, where we're looking at protection and rollover crashes. Like, what are you learning? What can you learn in general from the wreckage of something like this? So this pickup truck was subjected to our small overlap crash test at 40 miles an hour. What we are trying to encourage automakers to think about is how do you provide protection for the people inside when this kind of crash test occurs. Normally, the automakers are counting on structures like the frame to start absorbing some of the energy so that the, the crush zone crushes um, while the airbags and the seat belts provide protection. But a lot of crashes don't involve enough overlap to crush the frame and the bumpers and so on and so forth. So the automakers have to think about how they manage the, the crash energy in those cases make sure that this is strong enough so that it doesn't collapse in on the vehicle occupants and that the um, airbags and seatbelts have the right qualities to provide protection. So how often do you guys crash test cars? Uh, we typically run two full-scale crash tests every week. Two a week? Yeah. And where do you get the cars? The cars that we subject to testing in this laboratory are generally purchased um, from automobile dealers in Central Virginia. And you have to buy them? We purchase them with our budget. That's Do you right. buy them blind so you know you know you're getting like a honest, genuine test? Well, we go directly to the dealers that you or I would buy a vehicle from and buy the vehicles there. Do they so, know they're for so a the crash automakers? Test? Yeah, the, the the dealers that we work with have been working with us long enough that they know the fate of the car that we're going to buy. <laughs> but the automakers who send cars to those dealerships have no idea which car we're going to take away. So it's not them. like they can build a super strong one because they know it's going to get crash tested here and then the other one's on the road are we here? Right. We don't think there's any possibility of automakers creating special strong cars um, that they sneak into our testing programs. When people ask you what you do, do you tell them my crash cars for a living? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is, that, is that a... Is that a fun job at times? Well, I think it's, for me, it's been a very rewarding job to see that the research that we do uh, results in um, solutions being put um, to good use, either in the design of cars, the design of trucks, or the design of roads, um, you know, to help make the world a safer place. As, as exciting as some of the video, the crash test video we watch is, and as incredible as it is to look at these mangled cars you believe and you know you are saving lives right the result of this research leads to fewer people having serious injuries and fewer people dying as a result of the car crashes that occur outside and would you say under rides is just one of many issues that you are tackling right now or is it near the top of yeah the light vehicles under riding trucks is only one of the problems that we're trying to investigate and, and for which we found solutions.
we do uh, investigations on, on, on road design, um, different crash configurations, front side rollover crashes, for instance, not involving trucks, um, different uh, restraint systems and, and applications for the different restraint systems so that uh, cars can provide better protection in a wider variety of crashes. So the fact that you have your side underride crash test uh, demonstration cars out in, the, out in the front of the hall doesn't indicate that this is an issue that the IIHS feels more passionately about right now or is pushing harder than some of the other issues. The, the, the fact that the underride cars are in the display hall is, um, you know, representative of some of our current work, which is um, looking at side underride crashes. Um, and, you know, we'd like to bring some attention to that problem and the potential solutions to that problem. And then we'll move on to some other problems that we're working on.